Hi, my name is Craig Hobson. I'm the executive chef here at Boutique Restaurant. Today I'm going to show you my confit salmon dish. What I like about salmon is to cook it really slowly, really gives it a great, great texture. And what I'm using today is Wild King Salmon, which is really one of the best sustainable fishes in, in the world. The traditional meaning of confit back in the French cuisine is, is, is preserved. It's set in its own fat and it's preserved because there's no oxygen goes in there, so it's, it's almost like, um, like it's vacuum packed. Now with modern cuisine, it's been, words are sort of interpreted a little bit differently. So confit really now can, can, can mean like slowly cooked. So basically we're slowly cooking this and we're slowly cooking in olive oil. So it's not preserved in its own fat, but it's slowly cooked. I feel like salmon has a really stronger flavor, unique flavor, and you know, so does olive oil. It has a stronger, unique flavor, so the two match work very well together. All right, so. What we have here is a nice tranche, like I like to say, a nice slice of wild king salmon from Alaska. Beautiful fish, so all I want to do is, I'm going to put this in an appropriate size pan, but I'm going to add like copious amounts of olive oil. This is a basic run of the mill, very, very good extra virgin olive oil. But to cook, I kind of want a, a good medium, a good medium sized olive oil, which, which is going to suit all. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary to totally submerge the fish. The idea is you want to get it really, really wet. It's going to cook very slowly. The oven is really, really mellow. I'm going to put it in an oven at 135 degrees. And so it's not really going to get crusty or anything like that. This is all, all I need to do. So my oven is the lowest setting it can really go. I want it at around 130 to 140 degrees, long and slow. So I'm going to leave it in here about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're going to get the salmon out of the oven. We're going to check it. And that's looking good. So, so what I want is, in an ideal world, the salmon wouldn't really change that much color. It can be cooked, but still look a little raw. And, and what I'm looking for is it's going to be flaky the whole way through. So the salmon here is, is looking nice. We can take a spoon and, and, you know, put a little olive oil on top of it, make sure it's nice and moist. And that's been about 10 minutes at the lowest setting of the oven. So now we're ready to plate it. Okay, so here at the restaurant, we're gonna do up the whole plate. So I have my confit salmon, have my cucumbers, my potato, my buttermilk dressing. And we're gonna to put together the whole, the whole dish. So how I present the dish, some of the buttermilk vinaigrette, we put on the bottom of a nice deep bowl. Okay, I'll take some poppy seeds, sprinkle them everywhere. Okay, and then a couple of pieces of the poached cucumber. Sprinkle these guys as a little roughly chopped gel. I have my confit potatoes and then my Confit salmon. Now the confit salmon is very, very delicate, so use a large spatula. It's going to fall apart really easily if you don't pick it up properly. And that goes in the, in the dish. Okay, season the top of that with a little salt. And then what I have here is some potato chips I made. Thinly sliced potatoes, deep fry until they're crispy, and I dust them with a little bit of dried dill powder. So I uh, continue that dill flavor a little bit longer. Great, thanks for watching. This is my confit salmon at Boutique Restaurant.